Having problems with your mobility and flexibility? Well, we've got your back. A scub of wine today, Healthy Monday, starts right now. Happy and healthy Monday, everyone. You are watching America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. This is your Cabo Bayan today, where every week we kick off our program with discussions about our health. It's time to take care of ourselves, our health, and our body. And this afternoon on the program, we are going to talk to you. Those of you who are experiencing challenges with your mobility, flexibility, for those of you experiencing pain, muscle pain, hips, back especially, we have some solutions for you this afternoon in courtesy of Ms. Ada Wells. Ada Wells is a physical therapist and also a, a, an instructor for Pilates. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, we're going to be talking about Say Arc. What is that? Say Arc is a wooden, uh, basically it's a posture device which, which you lie down on and what it does is it allows the muscles in your spine to relax. Mm, okay, so how are you able to use Say Arc in your practice of say physical therapy or Pilates, uh, Pilates perhaps? Well, what I do with Pilates, essentially, it's retraining movement. Mm -hmm. And so the problem is, if a person does not have the mobility to begin with, there's no way I can really retrain those muscles that need to be basically on. Right. So This is when people complain about, oh, you know, I can't move, it feels tight, mm -hmm. it, my back feels tight, my hips feel tight, for those of you playing golf, perhaps, right? Exactly, right. exactly. And it's a problem, because if you don't have any movement, then how can we strengthen, or how can we teach you how to move? Right. So, but because I've been talking about pain, back pain, hip pain, tension in the muscles, do you recommend SayArc only for people who are, who have injuries, perhaps, or who are experiencing pain? It's, Who should use it? Yeah, it's fabulous for people with injuries, but that being said, I have used this with NFL football players, I've used it with Major League Baseball players, hockey players, and especially my golfers love it. Right, even golfers because of the hips. But when you talk about say arc, and it's arc like that, and you say it's good for the back mm -hmm. muscles, um, is it only good for the back? Or are there other body parts that, that, that could be targeted by say arc? Absolutely, I use it with people to open up the hips. I actually even do some things where we stand on it to work on ankle flexibility and oh. some balance. Right. Right, so it's very, very multifunctional. It is, and you know, the one population that also really needs it is pretty much anybody who sits, especially with our day and age where we're sitting there, we're on smartphones, Computer. and we're in this position. So right. what we want to do is we want to open the body up, and so it really allows that to happen. And it makes us also look beautiful, better because of the posture, right? Exactly. So it's not just for pain. Exactly, you look taller and you'll feel better. Yes, I want to be taller, not just look <laughs> taller. But anyways, um, can you uh, demonstrate some of the uses of say art? Absolutely, well this, is, um, this particular model is one of my favorites. It's called the AccuBac. Why I like it, it has these little removable knobs that oh. actually, if a person cannot tolerate um, the knobs, you can take them I'm out. I'm thinking maybe painful? They, you know what? It depends on the person. Right. People who are maybe a little sensitive the first time, I might not use that. Mm. But for people who are like, yeah, I wish you could just get that thumb in there, right. this is great for them. Okay. So I'll show you a little, a little sequence I, I use with a lot of my people, particularly um, those who sit at desks a lot. Okay. So what you can do is you can lie down underneath and you place the arc just under your low back. And, oh, and wow. I have them just have their arms just out to the side. Right. Either in a goalpost position or even overhead. Uh -huh. And literally, you hang out here and you just breathe and relax for about a minute. We can think about staying open to the collarbones and just melting. As then, as you relax in this position, we will come on up uh -huh. and we just keep moving it up just a little uh, bit each time. Okay, so challenging your back. Too. Exactly. You There's know what? Can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. I'm jealous right now. Oh, I do a great. little bit of yoga, I do a little bit of Pilates as mm -hmm. well, but I love, love, love stretching. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is a little bit like stretching, but just with more power to it. It's stretching, it's exercise, but you can lie on your back and relax and take a nap. Right, um, exactly, so, okay. But what's really nice here is then when I get it up slightly higher, okay, which I'm going to do here, okay. what's nice is that I can hang out, be in my position, and then I can now, we talked about those movement strategies, uh -huh. I can now instruct the patient or the client to take a breath, exhale, and just do a little, a little sliding, a little chest lift, okay. and come back down. So what I'm doing now is I'm now working those core stabilizers, but at the same time, I now have that increased mobility. Right. So then, once again, I can come there, keep the shoulders down, also do some arm movement. So now I'm, I'm moving the body, the spine is able to be in a different position, so right. when I come back up, my body's gonna know what to do with it. So I'm, I'm thinking, looking at you now, it makes me feel like I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I'm thinking that it 
just shows us how it releases tensions in the muscles. It does. There's a lot of back muscles, <laughs> and uh, they are very integral in our movement, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you do that, you're releasing all those. You are, and like yeah. I said, when you stand up, you feel like a new person. You felt like you just had a massage for an hour, yet really it only takes about four or five minutes. Now, you're pretty flexible and you're pretty, you know, healthy mm -hmm. looking at you. You're pretty fit. Who should use this? I mean, age-wise, for people out there that are watching, mm -hmm. say, for example, the Lolos and the Lolas grandfather, mm -hmm. grandmother, mm -hmm. they're older, mm -hmm. can they mm -hmm. still use this? You know, I wouldn't have them use it with the knobs, but just the regular arc, especially this particular model, it's a little bit more of a gradual slope. I think it's fine. The most important thing with older adults is that they stay open, they stay um, oh, open through the right. thoracic spine. Okay. When, they, when they start losing bone density, they start going into flexion, right. and that's where you start looking old. And oh, okay. so what we want to do is keep everything open and that's actually going to be very helpful and then we can give them some exercises on top of that now they have the motion now we can we can give them some nice little little movements and it's going to feel great for them wonderful there's so many things you can do with the say arc and if you want more information that's the website on the screen thank you so much ada for demonstrating thank for talking you. to us today and we'll be back more in cabo bye and today don't go away